welcome back. If you're here for the first time, I'm putting a 1958 Ford F100 on a 2003 Ford F150. Super low budget. Anyways, before I get any further, I kind of started before. Um, we got the cab kind of set level roughly where I want it. The most important thing is the fenders. Now the fenders have to center up. My wheel opening has to center up to the wheel. Um, if that doesn't look good, it messes the whole thing up. So um, I'm trying to get it lined up. As you see, Ford was thinking similar, kind of forward thinking. Thank you, Ford. Um, from 1958 to 2003, these frame rails are only a quarter of an inch wider than the original frame so cool i thought that was kind of cool right now i'm hitting on the frame on the ear horns i think that's what they're called frame ears frame horn i don't know anyways i'm about to cut it off and um i think i don't need this much frame sticking out well no i better be safe i'll just cut the ears off so i'm able to set my fender down and then we'll take a look at the sides and see see what it needs from there Now that these frame ears, frame horns, whatever they are, are out the way, let's set it and see what it looks like. These fenders are like my indicators. Once these, you know, look straight, then I'm ready to go. and setting this down these are out of the way so i'm hitting on these and i really don't want to cut this opening so i guess i'm just going to cut the frame and then i'll figure out my bumper later if we even put a bumper but for now let me mark it i'll measure it on both sides and we'll just slice it some more With no interruptions. Okay.
just a hair. So, we're pretty much there. Pretty straight. I think this thing fits perfectly centered exactly where we have the cab right now. So I think I'm gonna stick with that. The only issue that I'm having right now, these wheels have adapters. They're probably way over an inch thick. So they have spacers and an adapter Someone put GMC wheels on this Ford. Don't know why, but it's done. So I might have to come back through, take these, get these wheels off and see if I can find the wheels. So if anybody has any six slug Ford wheels, 16 inch steelies, let me know. Cause that's really, really, really what we want. Voila, as you can see, starting to come together now. What I was after was the center of my wheel has to be centered to the fender because if not, it throws everything off. I think to me, it looks pretty darn good to me. So I'm leaving it there. My only issue I'm having, these wheels, they have a spacer plus an adapter, pushes them out. You're able to put GMC wheels on the Ford. That's not what we're trying to do. So they stick out a little bit and they're hitting on both sides. So, as far as the cab goes, a couple more measurements, get them on the money. I'll wrap that up and then we'll start figuring it out. Let me give y'all a tour. Here's what it looks like from the side. Let's come in here. You see my frame horns where I cut them. My, my initial thought was to weld these original um, radiator support to this radiator support, but I don't think I'm, I'm gonna be able to make that work. I'm gonna play with it though. Same on this side. All right, I'm gonna thank y'all for joining me again. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up for today. I'm gonna pull this front back off, lift this up. I got a couple of plans for the firewall. I don't like the gaps on the side, so I'm just gonna build me my firewall and then set my cab back on it. So I won't pull the cab off, I'll just slide it back. Um, there she is. There she is, I hope y'all like. One more thing before we wrap this up. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share.